Mcon here, back with our next NetHack episode, <clears throat> where uh, we are a tourist, first time playing tourist, uh, and have made it all the way to dungeon level 3 at level 3. We are level, character level 3, which is impressive, uh, in my personal opinion. Uh, but aloha, Rodney the Human Tourist. Welcome back to NetHack. I am slightly burdened. Uh, when we last left off, we found this bookstore, uh, and we also trained our kitten to steal for us. Here, kitten. Over here. There you go. Good job. Good job. Uh huh. Uh huh. Come on. Come on, tiny cat. There we go. Uh, Venzar Borgave. I should start figuring out what these things. Uh, <laughs> what kind of? Oh, I mean, it's just so great though to be getting all these free scrolls. <laughs> oh my goodness. Tiny cat. Tiny cat. You you are way too good to me. Ooh, thank you. Abracadabra. More scrolls. This would be amazing uh, if... Ooh, a scroll magic mapping. If I knew what some of these scrolls were. But I don't. Uh, Alright, but we can see if we can't uh, price ID any of these. Uh, so let's drop... We've got a ton of scrolls now. Uh, three scrolls of magic mapping. Bless scroll magic mapping. Uh, then Andova Begarin. Gold detection. Benz Venzar Borgave. Abracadabra, more magic mapping, Abracadabra, and Zelgo Mur. So it's actually not terrible. Uh, let's drop uh, Andova Begar and see what kind of price we're looking at. 33. Uh, don't sell that. We already know what Identify is, right? Uh, wow, we don't know much at all, though. Yeah, we got the sleep amulet that we <laughs> were wearing for a little bit. Um, yep, scroll of Identify, which is read me. Okay. And then the wands. All right. Uh, let's see. How about the Venzar? Oh wait, that's three scrolls labeled Venzar Borgave. Let's drop just one of them. Uh, Seventeen gold. Don't sell that. That's very low. Interesting. Uh, how about Abracadabra? Thirty-three. Yeah, I think we're getting the super low prices because we're a tourist. Pretty sure that was a thing. And then last but not least, Zelgo Murr. 27. Yeah, because we these should all be selling for more than that. So price IDing is going to be real difficult, actually. I'm glad we know which one is identified at this point. But uh, we're going to have to find some more before it becomes any use. Uh, we can sell this spell book, though, because we don't need it. Thank you. All right. All right, Tiny Cat. Oh. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> just, I just, I just bought that or sold that, but okay. Oh my goodness, the science spell. Oh my goodness, tiny cat. Uh, hello, Hobbit. Are you? You are not friendly. Oh, I'm bashing monsters with my bare hands. Well, that's that's great. Uh, let's let's not do that. Let's fire. There we go. Fire to dart. Uh. Thank you. Uh, eat that hobbit corpse quick. Grab the sign spellbook again. Uh, let's drop it off. Uh, sign spellbook. Q. There we go. Another 33 gold pieces. That's great. Alright. Tiny cat. We must away. We have important things to do. Oh my god. Would you... Tiny cat. Alright. Let's go down. Oh, I can't go down there. Wrong staircase, guys. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, hello, yellow mold. There we go. Uh, ooh, a hexagonal amulet now. So that's a different kind of amulet. Yes, okay, fine. I pick up the book. Whew! Cat! You are persistent. Oh, oh it's the Gnomish Mines. Oh, that was quick. Okay. Okay, ah, oh, there we go. I killed a gnome. Welcome to experience level four. Thank you, tiny cat, for eating that gnome corpse. I totally didn't want it. Uh, whoa! I was almost hit by a little dart. And how about just a regular dwarf, huh? Dart hits the dwarf. Dart misses the dwarf. Oh, tiny cat. Yo, tiny cat. Thank you. Ooh. Hard shoes and pickaxe. So everything appears to be uncursed. 
So we'll grab both of those. Let's uh, wear our hard shoes. AC5 to, oh, I'm already wearing boots. Let's take, uh, let's take off the hiking boots, which was uh, one point of AC. And let's wear the hard shoes, which is two points. Excellent. That's good. Okay. I heard a chugging sound. Ooh, the gnome hits. The gnome just misses. Uh, there we go. A blue gem? Eh, why not? Uh, what was that? Oh, tiny cat dropping rocks. Gotcha. I feel like this might be dangerous. A key? Oh, okay. We'll take that. Um. Bam! Bam! You kill the genial. Okay. I heard another chugging sound. Somebody keeps drinking potions. Uh oh. Oh, the gnome world hurls a brown potion. It misses the dwarf. It crashes on the gnome's head and breaks into shards. It evaporates. It suddenly gets dark. Well, that was a potion of blindness. So, yay. I don't like that. I'm hearing some... Okay, there we go. We can see again. That's good. Uh, let's throw some of our darts. All right, we kill the dwarf. Oh, oh. Well, the gnome lord is helping us, but, uh... Boing. Oh! Woo! Sorry, tiny cat! Ooh, sorry, tiny cat. I didn't mean to. Uh-oh. Oh, Ooh, that hurts. That hurts. Fire. Uh, uh, fire. Okay. Gnome Lord is dead. Ooh, a bunch of gold. Mm, ooh, blue gem. Sure, why not? Okay. More of our darts. Bam! You killed the gnome. Yeah, rotten food, you feel rather lightheaded. Okay, feel less confused now. That's good. Alright, now then. A rumbling in the distance, so there's probably a trapper. Ooh, a candle. Alright. And three darts, we'll take that. I played that pretty riskily because I feel fairly certain that we have a. Yeah, we got. Um, let's see. Yep. Potions of extra healing. Could have been drinking those instead of just, you know, hoping for the best. Uh, Alright, well, let's... Oh, hello, Gnome Lord. That's not... <laughs> okay, there we go. There's our darts. Ooh, a violet gem. We'll take you. Cool, cool. Uh, I guess we're going to keep going cautiously. A board beneath you squeaks in F-sharp loudly. Well, I guess I've just woken everybody up in this dungeon. Oh, hello. Bugbear, this early, huh? Fire. Mm -hmm. Oh, an ebony wand. I don't like the way this sounds. The bugbear has made a hole in the floor. He falls through. Oh, okay. Well, now we know what a wand of digging is. Fortunately, I think he took my uh, darts with him. That jerk. Alright. Oh, well, of course, we can't get through there. That'd be too easy. Uh... -huh. Yes, Tiny Cat, I see you've got an arrow. Feel free to drop it whenever you like. Oh, I saw that. Barely. That was, what? Down, yeah, a boulder ran past somewhere down over here. Hmm. Well, let's, uh... There we go. Goodbye, zombie. Uh, we're not doing too bad down here for the moment. Oh, hello! The Gnome King hits! I'm not expecting a Gnome King already. What's going on here? Uh, uh ouch. Ouch! Uh, quaff. Quaff, an uncursed potion of extra healing, please. Whew! Okay. The Gnome King is killed! Thank you, Tiny Cat! Oh, Tiny Cat grows up into a house cat. Well, that's kind of you. Several more objects. Okay. An arrow, a dart, a pair of hard shoes, and a hooded cloak. Uh, okay, so everything there seems kosher. What's that hooded coat look like? I don't think we're... Yeah, we can wear one, right? AC4 becomes... AC4 still. Well, that's fine. Ooh, what was that? You're beginning to feel hungry. Well, homunculus! Eh? 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 Oh, come on now. This is just... Oh! Oh! That's not good! You're put to sleep by the homunculus! Oh, no! <laughs> Oh no! 
Tiny cat, save me! Ha! Ah, whoo! Thank you. That was that was that could have been really bad. I mean, it was already fairly bad, but that could have been even worse. Okay. Goodbye, grid bugs. Ooh, a violet gem. We need to we need to be very careful. There's a boulder trap somewhere around here. It's right here, isn't it? Oh no! Ah! You're hit by a boulder. You die. Well, that's that's just unfortunate. That is super unfortunate. Do you want your possessions identified? Sure. So we did have a blessed amulet of restful sleep. Yep. Ooh, that hexagonal one we picked up was reflection. That's super useful. Uh, okay, cursed bow, 30 plus 0 darts, a poison dart. Cursed minus 1 dagger. Sure, sure. Ooh, there were water walking boots? That's pretty cool. I didn't expect that. A blessed dwarvish cloak that we just picked up. Good. Then all of our uh, comestibles. Uh, let's see. Ooh, a clove of garlic. Then magic mapping, magic mapping, teleportation, three scrolls of light, confused monster, taming, another, a blessed confused monster, remove curse. That's not bad. Spell book of protection. Cool. Uh, ooh, we had unholy water. It was a wand of cancellation, as we suspected it could have been. Uh, okay, our credit card. Pickaxe skeleton key. Very nice. Uh, worthless glass. Uh, I don't think you see the gems and stones, but we got worthless green glass, uh, worthless orange glass, and then a couple more worthlesses. Our attributes, we were a sightseer, a level 4 human female tourist. We were neutral, nominally on a mission for the lady, uh, who was opposed by blind Io, lawful, and offler, chaotic. I don't know this pantheon. You were in the gnomish mines on level 4. You entered the dungeon 2,214 turns ago. We had 151 experience points. Nine more were needed to attain level 5. So close. We had none of our 30 hit points. We had all 17 energy points. Armor class was 4. Our wallet, wallet contained 1,217 zork mids. Our strength was 13. Dex, 10. Constitution, 13. Intelligence, 14. Wisdom, 11. And Charisma, 14. We were hungry. We were burdened. We were barehanded. We were unskilled in barehanded combat. Maybe that was part of our problem. We were piously aligned. We are warded. We are dead. Uh, let's see. I know the Gnome King was the best thing that we vanquished. And then two Gnome Lords, two Dwarves. Yeah. Whew, killed by a boulder. Uh, I do not want to see my conduct or the dungeon overview. Rest in peace, Rodney. Killed by a boulder. We had 983 points. We made 27th, uh, so we are just above Darky, the chaotic male elven wizard who died on level 5, killed by a little dog. Oh, well that's embarrassing. And just below Nerlin, the chaotic male elven wizard who died in the Dungeons of Doom, level 5, killed by an elf zombie. Uh, level 5 was apparently the way to go there. Uh, what the? Oh, <laughs> And that's underneath Valerian, the lawful female dwarven Valkyrie, who died in the Dungeons of Doom on level 2. She'd gone down to level 6. Killed by Mrs. Packa Packa, the shopkeeper. <laughs> Whew. Talk about embarrassing. Alright, well, that's, uh, out of 55. That's, uh, that's where this is pretty well going to end here. I do well, you know what? Nah, let's, uh, Let's press forward. Let's start our new character, actually. We still got time here. Who are we? We are... Mm, er, uh, uh, Ptolemy. Uh, yes, go ahead and pick our race, role, gender, and alignment, please. Uh, Ptolemy, the neutral gnomish cave woman. Sure, why not? Why, we have been a woman every time. This uh, NetHack is being very gender equal here, I see. As it is written in the Book of Ishtar. Uh, you, you guys kind of get the idea here. Uh, Ishtar wants to possess the amulet and gain deserved ascendance. We, a newly trained troglodyte, have been heralded from birth as the instrument of Ishtar. Uh, we are destined to recover the amulet for our deity or die in the attempt. That's uh, the more likely uh, outcome, of course. Your hour of destiny has come for the sake of us all. Go bravely with Ishtar. Hello, Ptolemy. Welcome to NetHack. You are neutral gnomish caveman. Cave woman. Huh. Uh, we are joined here by our tame little dog called Slasher. And a newt. 
Uh, interesting. We actually have kind of low strength. I would have assumed cavemen and woman started with slightly more. But good decks, good con. Alright, so that's not terrible. Uh, equipment, a plus one club, a plus two sling, uh, leather armor, and then flintstones and rocks. Okay, that's fair. We kill the newt! Look at that, one experience point already. We are, we are awesome. Uh, ooh, gold. And this is a clear potion? A cyan potion. Well, they're close. Very, very close. Almost the same thing, really. Uh, okay. Hello, the door opens. Ow! Bam! You kill the grid bug. You miss the jackal. You hit the jackal, the jackal bites. You kill the jackal. Ooh, would you look at that? Something is engraved here on the headstone. This is a grave, by the way. You read, he waited too long. Ooh, well, how sad. Alright. Ooh, a newt. You kill the newt! This is going well. There's gotta be a hidden door somewhere in here. Oh, there's some graffiti on the floor here. You read, Afraid of... Rimp nymphs? There we go. Uh, so, uh, something I think is super cool is that uh, messages that are engraved on the floor, they kind of degrade over time and when people step on them. So, while it says R-Y-M-P-N-S, it means nymphs. Uh, because... That is very, I mean, I think it's so cool how that works. It, it looks like a message that's just had pieces of it erased. Instead of the uh, N there, it's an R because a little bit of that N got worn away. Instead of an H, it's an N because no top little thing there. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. So, uh, afraid of nymphs, wear a ring of adornment. Well, that's, that's one way to do it. Make you a little bit more charismatic. Uh, yeah, there doesn't seem to be any other way out of there. I guess we will have to try the other ways through here. Mm. What was that? What was that? Oh, I heard water falling on coins. So there's a water falling on coins means that somewhere on this level there is... Well, that's just... <laughs> Alright, what's going on here? Aha! There we go. Found a door. The door opens. Yep, there's a fountain. So that's, uh, that's your water falling on coins message. I feel like there's got to be some doors somewhere that we're just not seeing. Well, maybe not. Hello. Another fountain. And a large box. Check it for traps. No traps? Oh, this seems legit. It's locked. Only way through this. Force the lock. You start bashing it with your club. You stop forcing the lock. Slasher bites the jackal. The jackal is killed. Well done, Slasher. Let us continue to force the lock. You resume your attempt to force the lock. You stop forcing the lock. Slasher misses the jackal. Stupid jackals. Uh, bam! You kill the jackal. Slasher eats a jackal corpse. Oh, well, I'll eat that one then. It tastes okay. Okay, can we finally force this box open? You succeed in forcing the lock. In fact, you totally destroyed the large box. Well, that's not what I was going for. A food ration is pulped. A melon is pulped. How unfortunate. All that's left is a melon and a scroll labeled Zelgomer. Now that scroll labeled Zelgomer is not going to be the same as the scroll labeled Zelgomer in the last game. They are randomized. Like The, the scrolls will say certain things, and they're always going to say that, but they're going to be a different effect. Like, if we find a scroll or read me in here, it's not going to be identified. Or maybe it is. It, it's possible it's identify. Well, let's uh, kick this door down. Kick. As you kick the door, it crashes open. A statue of a jackal. Well, I mean, what else would you have a statue of down here? Hello? Hello? Let me through? Hello? Guys? Guys? Well, okay. That's fine. Let's uh, book it down over here to our... Oh, hello? You kill the jackal! Oh, thank you, Slasher, for taking that. I definitely didn't want to eat it. Oh, hello? You kill the newt! Eight experience points. We're on our way. Oh, a cobalt. Bam! You miss. The cobalt misses. You kill the cobalt. You were worth a lot of XP. Thank you. All right. Let's go down. Uh. <laughs> Ooh, another cyan potion. A clear potion this time. You kill the jackal. Uh, we'll just clear that. Because, look at that. 
Hello? Hello? Anything? No? Okay. Uh, how about here? Hello? There's got to be a door. There, well, it's a hidden passage. Maybe that counts for something. A door here? Oh, a door! Okay. Uh, let's see. Oh. I'm carrying too much to get through there. Well, that, that's not great. Are you calling me fat? I hear some noises in the distance. Come here! Come here, goblin! Get back here! Ooh! You see that? I felt strong. My strength went up. You kill the goblin, welcome to experience level two. That's more like it. Let's grab the dagger and the skull cap and eat the corpse. Um, 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 um. Whoa, whoa there, Newt. Thank you. Now then. Ooh. Ooh. A brass lantern. Very nice. A gnome corpse, two orange gems. This is going to trigger a boulder trap, isn't it? Oh, no, not again. You trigger a rolling boulder trap. The boulder hits Slasher. Slasher is killed. You are hit by a boulder. Ah! Ah, that's not cool. Ouch! That hurts. I tried to kick the, uh... I tried to kick the gnome corpse off, and apparently I wasn't strong enough. Ah, come on. I know there's a way through here. Don't tell me I'm carrying too much. <sighs> Lame. Oh, I wonder if I can kick that now. I can. There we go. Now I can grab those that I forgot to grab. Okay. Yes, cash register. I hear you. Uh, eat that lichen corpse. Poor slasher. Take him before his time. Search. Anything? Nothing. Oh, there we go. See, I knew there was supposed to be a door. A long sword. That's not bad. There's the door. Bam! Goodbye, Mr. Zombie. Here's the stairs down. Ooh, black gem. Statue of a sewer rat. Just in case you want to decorate in sewer style, I suppose. I don't know what this giant rat was doing carrying a scroll of Fubi Black, but uh, I'll take that. Uh -huh, and, oh, here we go. Hello, Ptolemy. Welcome to Banjo Wangi's Delicatessen. Alright, tripe rations, food ration. Uh huh. Tripe rations, cool. Clear potion, not bad. A tin, food ration. Uh, now, you might notice that there is a strange object here. It's not listed as armor, which is what normally is uh, that symbol, the bracket. It's listed as a mimic or a strange object, and I'm going to go with mimic. So, we are going to search and find a small mimic. Bam! You miss? What? Bam! You hit! Oh my goodness! That was a lot of damage. Um, what do we have in here? We've got a melon. We've got two scrolls. Uh, let's read a scroll labeled Zelgo Myrrh because maybe it's useful because the thing about mimics is once they hit you, you're not really going to get away. That was useless. That was a scroll of light. Uh, did not help. Uh, bam! You missed the small mimic. This is it. I think this is... Oh my god. We're going to finish two characters off in one one game. You miss. You hit. You hit. Oh, come on. The giant rat. The giant rat bites. The giant rat bites. The small mimic hits. You die. And he gratefully inherits all of our possessions. Ugh. We had a cursed minus one longsword. The orcish dagger. Okay. Plus one orcish helm. Cursed scroll of identify. Potion of unholy water. A cursed, uncursed potion of gain level. Nice! The Brass Lantern. Okay, and worthless pieces of glass. Well, no, we don't want to see any of that. How many do we... We managed to vanquish 18 creatures, including a little dog. It counted Slasher as one of the creatures we vanquished. Great. No, no. Rest in peace, Ptolemy, killed by a small mimic. We died in the Dungeons of Doom on Dungeon Level 2 with 192 points and 8 pieces of gold after 989 moves. Well, that sucked. 49th place on the list, uh, placing us slightly above Vina, the lawful female dwarven Valkyrie, who died on level two, killed by a boulder. And just below Thor, the uh, chaotic male elven wizard, who died in the Dungeons of Doom on level two, killed by a coyote. Yeah, well, that that was, that's NetHack, guys. Uh, 
We'll tell you what, thanks for coming along for this one. And hey, until next time, bye all.